Yo, what's going on? In today's video, boys, I'm gonna be showing you um, how to kind of download and how to make sure you're doing the GTA Util correctly. Um, if you haven't already seen um, my video previously with um, me using GTA Util and what it does and how to get it 5M ready, um, maybe go check that one out after this one or before. Up to you. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, but yeah. Um, so, if you haven't already seen that, it's your first time on the channel, um, to get GTA Util, um, you just need to join my Discord, it'll be linked in the description, um, and then you send in proof of you being subscribed, like all these guys, um, and you will unlock it here. So, pretty much, what you want to do is you just want to download it from here, it looks something like this, um, I would just click where it has this here and then download it like that so just go download and it'll prepare the zip so just let it download all right this will be done in a second all right now that it's done you just want to open it um, and then find where it has it. One second. Alright. So now you got your GTA util file here. Um, you just want to extract it and save it. I would save it in your, um, not your disk, local disk, but your storage disk if you have one. It doesn't matter too much, but the less, um, fight like the file path the better so um i've pretty much just selected my storage one and as you can see that's where i have mine saved um so i'm just gonna put it in here but i might rename oh actually i probably won't be able to rename it so i'm just gonna save it in there uh, uh okay all right I already have mine downloaded I'm not gonna worry about it but um, I'm just gonna show you so once you have yours downloaded in your storage thing just want to open it and uh, yours will probably look a little different than mine you probably won't have custom clothing or I'm not sure it won't look like this though you probably have or it might because I put the custom clothing in there already um, so yeah, you also look the same as this, but all you want to do is open this commands one and then just move that aside and then you want it to look like this. You want to be able to see the custom clothing, everything like this, commands, cache, and it needs to just be on the GTA util folder. Once you do that, click up here, write CMD, just like that, up the top. You hit enter and it'll open command prompt and then you just want to get your commands here and only use this command if you're setting up GTO util so you want to copy that and then paste that in there so like that and you just want to um, so what this will do is it will create clothing files so in here it will create probably this I think um, yeah, I'm not too sure, but I'm just going to hit enter on it, and it'll load cache, load DLC, like this, just let it run, it should only take a little, like it won't take too long, it's pretty quick. But yeah, so you just want to paste this command in first, um, and then hit enter on that and it will load loading cache loading dlc list um i think it does something else pretty sure yeah there we go loading file tree and it's just gonna keep loading some stuff it's just let it load all that up um and in here you can read exactly how to do it so you want to do this as your first step and then you do this every time you're making clothing but I'll show you how to do it. So, alright, now that this is done, so you can see that it's all done here, so I'm just going to refresh this. Mine's probably going to look 
I don't know what looks this hair. Okay. So now that I've got all of this here, it looks good. It will probably ask you, um, before it does all of this, it will probably ask, um, GTA 5, so it will just have, like, a little text, like, all caps, like, folder, or, like, it will just say GTA 5. So pretty much all you gotta do is open your, um, file explorer, so I'm just gonna open a new one. And you need to find where your GTA is downloaded. So, for me, mine's probably in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so here. So, once you do that, you just pretty much want to um, drag your GTA 5 folder into here. And if that one doesn't work, open it and then scroll down until you see GTA 5 and do the same thing. If that doesn't work, do the same thing with play gta 5 one of them will work so either this one this one or the actual folder um so once you've done that it looks like, like this and then pretty much what you want to do is let's say um you're in here and you've got that so you just want to find the bit of clothing that you want to make five of them ready so i'm just going to quickly find something let me just quickly find something, it shouldn't take me too long. pretty much looking for a hoodie that I have to make for someone in my discord so someone boosted my server and got a free bit of clothing designed by me so I'm pretty much just looking for that for him um, so I can make that 5 hand ready for him so I'm just gonna look for that all right here we can see the clothing that I designed for him this is what he wanted um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. Right. And then pretty much I'm just gonna make a new folder and call it, uh, I'm just gonna call it Nero, cause that's his name. And I'm gonna drag the YTD into the folder. I'm gonna drag the YDD into the folder. Once you make sure they're both in there, you can minimize this and minimize this. And then you just wanna open back your command prompt and your uh, GTA util like this. Yeah. Then you want to open clothing files. You want to open mp underscore m underscore free mode underscore o one, not with the p, just the normal one without the p. Um, and you only do male the m if you're doing male clothing or f for female. So you open that up, and then you just go back to your clothing folder. So in here, and you can see it says jbib. So I just want to open JBib, and I want to highlight them, Control C, click over here, Control V, right? Easy. And then what you want to do is you just want to rename them. So I'm just going to rename this to 0.ytd, and then rename this to 0.ytd. Okay. Um. And now what you want to do is you want to make a new folder in here and call it zero. And you want to drag the YTD, you want to drag the YTD into the zero folder. So it needs to look like this: zero dot YDD, and zero folder with zero dot YTD in it. Slow it down if you need to, or just go back if I'm going too fast. But yeah. So once you've done that, um, you just want to go out of this and go into um, the commands prompt, uh, the open the commands thing again. Then you want to go into your command prompt and just copy this whole one here just like that control c and then go back into here and you just want to paste it in and now what that's going to do is it's pretty much just making the clothing five and ready for you so we'll do this and then um it will be done in like two seconds so yeah all right so as you can see it's all done it says uh loading cache loading dlc list loading file tree and then it says clothing files 
and then if it goes back to this without an error message that means you did it correctly if um, it comes up with an error message um, it means you did so incorrectly so you can either try redo it all or you could comment in my discord and I might be able to try and help you out um, but yeah so once you do that you can close your command prompt whatever you can close this um, and then you open custom files and stream and then in here as you can see I've got other stuff in here but I'm going to just delete that but it's just these two, these two JP ones because they're the clothing I just did so all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these two drag them in there and then I'm going to delete these two so like that so they're now fire and ready and make sure you have a YDD and a YTD so I can close this now but I'm going to just delete it first so that way next time I make clothing I don't have random bits of clothing in there like I just did so always make sure you're going in and just deleting the stuff that you added so yeah okay and then we're just going to go into open IV and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop we're going to drag the De Niro folder in here and as you can see there's our files so in here you have the YTD with the hoodie design that I made and in here we have the YDD it should open up the clothing I can add the texture and we have it so that is now 5M ready guys um, if you have any questions comment down below um, also you could ask in the discord um, but yeah in the discord I've also got the Zertix Scrub Pack available with thousands of PNGs 1500 uh, YTD and YDDs um, it's got fonts, graphic shit, intro stuff, everything I use pretty much. Um, but yeah, you can see a little preview of some stuff in there. But yeah, I definitely check it out. Um, it's very good. We sell other stuff in here, like we got speed boost macro, glitch roll macro, um, and we got heaps of booster perks. Heaps of booster perks. Um, but yeah, and if you want clothing made by me, um, you can join the Discord and I can make your clothing. So, this is like some stuff I make. Uh, this is just kind of what I've been making for people recently. Um, but yeah, I make clothing. Um, so, if you want clothing design, buy me. Um, you can open a ticket and I can definitely, definitely make some clothing for you. But yeah, here's some of the things I make. But yeah, you can see heaps of stuff in there. Um, definitely check it out for yourself if that's what you want to do. But yeah, that's all it takes. Um, and then you have a 5M ready uh, folder. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you want to see next. And yeah, peace out, boys.